guys and today it is um explains episode one two three four and it's about um like some advanced crafting methods and blocks and things um and don't forget to go check out the other three enchanting rails and dispensers droppers and hoppers um they've created this mess and I don't think this one will make much of a mess. Um, and uh, also go check out the Let's Play. Um, it's quite funny, me doing rubbish. And we have smithing tables, grindstones, cartography tables, blast furnaces, smokers, cauldrons, and stone cutters. Um, the grindstone should have really gone with this lot, but I forgot about it. So it's, it's coming over here now. First up, smithing table. It looks like this inside, there's a cool looking hammer. Um, you need to use it, some diamond gear, like uh, that, and then some netherite. So you put the diamond gear in the first slot, and the netherite in the second, and out comes netherite gear. It's pretty cool. And uh, I, get, I don't know why, but I think um, Minecraft, uh, couldn't be bothered to add uh, crafting recipes or they had to add something for the smithing table. Sadly, the other one that came in the village update, the fletching table, still doesn't have a use. You can just place a ton of it. Okay, and the next one, a grindstone. Um, this should have been in the enchanting one, but say you get like a really bad enchantment on your netherite sword, say smite three, it's pretty horrible. All Bane of Arthropods, both of those are bad. Um, you put it in your grindstone, and it comes out as a normal sword. And you get levels. It's so useful. Okay, yeah. And then we have the cartography table. It only goes a certain way round, which is a shame. Uh, so it's got a blank side here, but it looks nice. It's got a little globe. And you use it for messing about with maps. So say I make a map, oh this is the world, like it? Yeah, it's amazing. It goes this way round and we're up here at the top. At bottom I mean. Uh, and you can also do that with the locator maps which show your location. Look, there I am. And then if you go into here, you can uh, like rename the maps, you can do other general stuff with them and you can combine them with glass panes and you get a uh, locked maps which um, cannot change so say I break a few blocks here they haven't changed but on this map if I fly away they have changed and also I mean how cool does that look just to be fair yeah so that's the cartography table. Then we have the furnace, the blast furnace and the smoker. So I'm just gonna grab all these materials here. And I'm just gonna put coal in every furnace because it's useful. And then, first off I'm gonna show you the smoker. So I'll put this stack of chicken. Hang on no, I'll put I'll put, I'll put, hang on, I'll put 16 chicken in the furnace and 16 chicken in the smoker and we can compare their times. So the smoker is actually better at cooking food. Look, that's almost got two, whereas that hasn't. So if you need to cook food, you always use smokers. And I've forgotten to use them in my let's play, but I'm gonna remedy that at some point, so yeah. So that one's only done three, this one, it's done five. So yeah, always use a smoker for cooking food. And then same with ore. Uh, I'm gonna put 16 in the furnace and 16 in the blast furnace. And what we should see here is that the blast furnace smelts the ore a lot quicker than the normal furnace. And yeah, look, that's done two, that's only done one and a half. So yeah, you always make all different types. 
Um, but like you can't put up sand, which is weird, in either of them. So you have you also have to have some usual furnaces to do that. And then this is the the craziest one. It's a cauldron, and uh, I'll show you the first use. Uh, yeah, I got some really yucky colours. Um, you. You can put water in it, see? Water in my cauldron. And you can dye it colours, and then you can click on it with a, uh, like, leather armour, and then you get dyed leather armour. I mean, it's it's a brown one, so it, it, I didn't really think about that. It looks nothing different. But anyway, you can do it with a cyan, and we now have cyan, and see? That's actually quite a noticeable difference. And yeah, you can also take water out of the cauldron. Well, not if it's dyed, but. And you can take it out in bottles as well to make bottled water. You can also just take bottles from like natural water sources, but look. You get, I think, three from a full cauldron. Yeah, and you can undye armor as well by clicking it in clear water. So that's the first use. I'm keeping my arm on, I like it. Oh, I look good. Um, and then the second use is, if you wanna be a witch. So yeah, and you can uh, dunk potions in, and I mean, look at those colors. And then uh, you can also take them out again as potion bottles, but you know, and you can get all sorts of different colors. And if you mix potions, it hisses, but like that nice blue a pure blue a horrible green harming healing oh that's a nice one regeneration pink turtle masters that color and then decay is this color and i don't think the effects apply if you're in the cauldron but yeah i mean that's the best thing look at that color anyway Next up, and last, surprisingly, okay, um, is the stone cutter here. Um, I mean, you can use it for like an execution machine. It doesn't actually do anything, even though I'm in creative. Um, but you can go into it and you can stick some stone in and um, you can go one for two. In the normal thing, it's three for six. So it just lets you do it one at a time, which will save you. Say you need only need four, but you have to get six. Um, in this, you can just make four. And you can also make all sorts of fancy stone stuff. Like, I'll have stone bricks, please. And then, sadly, you can't, like, redo stone bricks. Well, you can, but not into cracked. Um, and you can do the same with stone. And, like, granite and andesite also work. So I'll get some of that. I don't know if blackstone works, I'll try it. Um, granite, yeah, see, polished granite and things will have this works. Diorite also works. Andesite works as well. You get all the different types. Blackstone, I don't actually know. Oh, it does work! Ooh, yeah, you can get all the different types of blackstone. Uh, this one. It's called Polished Blackstone Brick Stairs. Yay, that's a long name. And um, yeah, you can get all these different types. There might be some I've missed. Most of these came in the new village update. Some didn't. Well, the village update isn't exactly new anymore, but still. Um, some didn't. Oh, I have missed one. Okay, I can show you another. Um, it's a loom. So you can have banners. And you can have banner patterns, like I'll have some of these. And you can have dyes. Right, we're just gonna use our like some. Yeah, that's good. Right, and then you put down the loom. I didn't even make a chest with this one. Uh, and you can chuck in the banner and you can either chuck in a pattern and you get, okay, that's skull and crossbones, yeah. And then this one. Creeper, nice. 
flower, nice. Field, field mason. Nice, or you can click over here and you get all these options. I can get these ones at the top here and down here. But you, usually you can't get these ones, but because I have uh, the ones in my inventory, I can. And also you can probably get more patterns. Yeah, you can also get, so creeper, yeah. Snout, that's the new piglin one. Board, 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 yeah, indented. Field mason, I've already got that one. Thing, which is the Mojang symbol. Flower charge, which I already have. Skull charge, which is the skull and crossbones. And creeper charge. So now I can actually go in and show you them all. See, so that's flower field, creeper, flower, thing, skull and crossbones, snout, snout's pretty cool. Look, it's piglin snout. Piglin snout. So yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah, I'd say that's everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to like and subscribe to watch me sit in more acid acid goop that may or may not be potions of leaping and uh yeah goodbye